distributing images of child sex abuse. Um, one of the victims includes his partner's 10-year-old son, a 5-year-old, and a 12-year-old. Um, so they've secured hundreds of terabytes of video footage during raids. Is he Catholic? Uh, oh, probably. Aren't they all? No. Um, so yeah, so well done. Way to go, Jeremy. Um, love seeing shit like that getting fucking nailed. I don't know what kind of uh, penalty that carries in Germany, but... I assume with everything else, probably hefty. I hope so. Um, yeah, they're all being held. Sorry, the judge ordered seven of the suspects, including the computer technician and his 45-year-old mother, are held in jail per, uh, pending further investigation. Nice. Yeah. Get it's mom. You know mom's got right? something to do with it. <laughs> moms are always <laughs> lying about something. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Here's how you organize those files. <laughs> I'll show you how to swirl out your face. <laughs> right? <laughs> They'll never catch you, son. <laughs> so, yeah. So, gross. good to see uh, Good to see that. I, I love hearing about those. It's the happening. first episode my mom listens to. She never listens to it again. <laughs> that would, you know what, though? That would make perfect sense. Sorry, Mom. I meant all the other ones, not you. <laughs> You're the good one, Mom. Don't forget that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, other than that, there's just... I'm digging Germany these days. Germany does some yeah. good stuff. I agree, too. Occasionally. Um, they have that... Uh, who's the Who's the woman in charge of Germany right now? She's doing Angela everything. Merkel. There it is. No relation to Meghan Markle. No. That's a shame. Different. Be great if they're the same person, or at least mom daughter. Oh, that sucks. You can't see the top of this. It's all wrong. I gotta change it. <laughs> There's a behind me in this video that's probably Why never gonna get published. Is a picture of uh, Modern Retard Magazine. <laughs> uh, Lean your head to the left. Why are we obsessed? South Korean mouth. <laughs> uh, South Korean mouth breather. Oh, I so uh, just see South Korean mouth. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a South Korean mouth breather. That's just really good. <laughs> um, I was hoping that would appear better, but it does not. Um, no, no. So yeah, so all types of shits going on all over the fucking world. Protests it, that's, everywhere. Yeah, that's good. Um, I would like to protest something else, but. Not not saying there's anything wrong with this protest. I just want to protest something else. Yes. Hey, so what are your thoughts on? So we got obviously we got the BLM uh, protest going on all over the place. Um, what's your thoughts on the fact that Canada is uh, linking this with the indigenous instead of giving them their own direct? Hate it. Protest? Absolutely hate it. Um, I it's. It's it's apples and oranges in my opinion. Um, it's two completely different fights. Not that the natives don't have a lot to bitch about, but this is a totally different thing. It's got nothing to do with it, and they have no right. Nobody has any right to get in on this. I don't want all lives matter. I don't want native lives matter. None of it. It's not your goddamn protest. This is not your time to just latch on and be part of a cause. <laughs> Um, you end up like those two college kids. But I'm on your side. Smash. <laughs> Fuck you, Whitey. <laughs> yeah, I got to resize this before I show it, too. It's a really neat laser truth poster behind me, but you can't see it. Um, no, no, I think it's stupid. Number one, it's not relevant. It doesn't. It, it's not. Uh, it, it's apples and oranges. Um, yeah. And number two, it's not fair. That would be like me protesting me, too. Like. <laughs> join, trying to join the Me Too movement. He's like, no, I don't have any right. Uh, mostly because I think it's bullshit. Um, but no, I think it's dumb. I don't think I don't think Canada has a much of a of, a, of an anti in this game. It's not it, the the Underground Railroad came here. Yes, um, I mean, there's everybody throwing away the occasional you know story that were injustices against blacks has, have happened in Canada? Oh, of course they have. I'm not saying they haven't. Yeah. But, um, 
it's nothing, nothing in comparison to what the fuck is going on. Man. The level of injustice and the frequency yeah. is not even close. One of my favorites was when there's somebody stood up and says, well, what about this guy? Yeah, you know, he was treated badly by the cops in 1977. Sure. Wow, great. Congratulations. You picked something from 40 fucking three years ago. <laughs> you know who else was treated badly by cops in 1977? Everyone mm. who wasn't a cop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the cops gays were, were treated horribly in 1977 by the cops. Come on now. You know who was really treated badly in the 1977? Black mm. people. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, we have no say in this. We, we can support as much as they want us to. Um, but this is not our fight. It is certainly not Canada's fight. I, I stand by them. I, we have on this show from day one, I've been calling out this bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, I will do what I'm asked to do. I will not get involved on my own. And I certainly won't bring in some other cause and go, eh, let's make this our cause. That's what First Nations people in our country always do. Whatever cause there is, they fucking attach themselves to it in some way or another. Yep. And yep. I'm not saying they don't have a, a protest of their own because by and large, they do. But don't just latch onto someone else's like just because we're not listening to yours, um, which for the most part, most of us are, especially Justy. So just let it go. For, for one day, let it go. This is not yours. Yep. Um, I agree. Well said, my friend. Well said. Um, there is one other thing. I didn't have this open, so it's open on a totally different fucking page. It wasn't open up the rest. Um, I think this is, considering, pretty fucking big news. The NFL, um, they have reversed their decision uh, saying that players should be allowed to protest during the national anthem. Yeah, I kind of thought they would. I'm um, actually kind of surprised, but nope, they're, they turned around. They actually said that uh, we were wrong for not listening to the NFL players earlier and encouraging all to speak out and peacefully protest. Well, there's a big Colin Kaepernick should hold a press conference and just say, fuck you. Right. <laughs> but think what if, if the league had supported him, mm-hmm. We may not be where we are right now. Exactly. Everyone was getting in on that. Everyone was like stoked to do it. It was a nice, peaceful protest, like you were talking about. Yeah. You've talked about uh, several times uh, recently. Um, could have been a great thing. They shut it down, and now we're here. Things boiled over. Had they made this announcement a year ago, we would probably be in a lot better shape right now. Yep. So I don't know if I should say fuck you guys for being late to the party or if I should say thank God you finally come around. Well, well, I'm not sure. Fuck you for being late, but at least you finally came around. But because I question anyway. how genuine it is now. Had they, had they supported it a year ago, it would have been genuine. Now it's I, like, what, you're worried because... Uh, They're going to worry about the backlash that's going to happen against them. Because if, think about it, if they kept that thing up with all this racial thing going on, how many black, black guys are there playing football? All of them. Exactly. So what happens to their fucking league if they all decide to say, fuck you, I'm not playing now? Well, yeah, you just lost your entire league. Any fucking kid from the ghetto who's going to say, fuck you, to the $60 million he gets. <laughs> um, it's a lovely thought, but. Yeah. Um. You ask anyone in the NFL and black lives don't matter $60 million worth. <laughs> and that's just true. Yeah. yeah, black lives matter, but not for $60 million. <laughs> nope. I'll buy some new black lives. I'm going to make some new black babies. <laughs> I'm going to raise a black cop and he'll be great. But that's Hey, you know what, guys? If you're offended by that, prove me wrong. Um, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying that to be like... In, like mean it's just true um because if it was a big deal how many of you guys would have fucking should have at the time when when colin got fucking uh uh he got he got fired from the nfl didn't he he got dropped i right? think officially he quit officially but yeah basically so out. i mean how many of the, like why i mean you would have thought that how come nobody else stood up for him at the time you're gonna get rid of him fuck you we're all fucking walking out there. nfl money that's right 
Yeah, it's just true. I'm not, hey, fuck, for $60 million, I'd stab my mom in the face. <laughs> but, so, you Hi, know. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm not saying it's, uh. She's so listening to this episode. I'm not saying I disagree <laughs> with them. I'm just saying that's how it's going to go. Or would go. <laughs> so, NFL, I think you're too late. I think it's, it seems disingenuous to me now. Yeah. I and I know that the entire league is wondering what Eric thinks before they move ahead with any decisions. I'm telling you right now, I don't like it. <laughs> yep. There you go. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't know. That was the NFL getting me back. <laughs> I'll piss you with you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there we go. So, there's some news. That's cool. Yeah. I guess. Good to see that. I'm... Would you stop? We're having some technical difficulties, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> as I try to uh, write code and do a podcast at the same time. I'm doing this new thing where anytime I write a note now, I'm writing it in code because I think that will make me better at coding. Okay. But it's not. It's just making my notes take much, much longer to write. Yeah, I couldn't imagine doing coding. I mean, fuck me, I can barely work a computer as it is. Doc, it's just repetitive. It's very Literally, I just lost a single page that's just sitting here in front of me. I couldn't even find that. So, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> so, is this today? This is today. Ontario government extends all emergency orders. Yeah, till was it June 30th? June 19th at the moment. No. They were set to expire on June 9th. The news release issued Saturday morning. Province confirmed they will extend them till June 19th. Oh, that means I'm not coming to Ontario for my birthday. Sorry, guys. Uh, fucking hell. Uh, you can't disagree with them, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Tons of people. You know, uh, Milton did the um, uh, the Black Lives Matter protest. Uh, uh, good <laughs> protest today. How many and black I got people it- are in Milton? Uh, about 20 Seven. Um, <laughs> um but uh I'll, I'll give them credit um they they kept his social distancing as much as they could everybody was wearing masks they were giving out free masks and gloves and um uh bandanas and shit um they're i'll give them full credit you know they not only did they do the protest but they did it while keeping the whole covid thing in mind as well um pretty much the whole fucking town was involved. The cops were involved. The local government was involved. Everybody was sort of involved in it. And it was all organized by a couple of teenagers. Um, so well done, Milton. Always standing up and being the class act. Way to go. Way to go, Milton. Yeah, I'll say it. I'll stand up for my town. They're doing good. They do something, they do it right for the most part. So. Good on you, Milton. I guess that's cool. Whatever. Good for your social distancing. I, maybe you can inspire other people in your province to do it because they're all turning into retards. It's not just your province. It's everywhere. They loosened up a little bit of restrictions and everyone's like, ah, everything's over. It's all back to normal. Let's go fuck <laughs> up the beaches. No. Yeah. <laughs> not how it works. And then when you open up a fucking park and put circles down, you mock them for doing it. You fucking idiots. So, Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, me and Gordon said this two months ago. The sooner we follow the rules for a little while, the sooner this ends. So they're they're just going to keep extending them if you keep fucking around. So it's just, what do you think, Doug Ford's going to give a shit what you think? Yeah. <laughs> no. So quit fucking around, or this just keeps going and going until the end of summer. Yeah, and then it's just going to lock back up again as soon as the fucking fall hits because somebody's going to get the sniffles, say <gasps> Corona, and then we're back to it again. So, oh yeah, that's coming in the fall for sure. Oh, fuck, is it ever? Whether it's true or not, yeah, the media yeah. will make this second wave happen. Yeah, the second wave. <laughs> you know, one thing I'm actually dying to find out is uh, I'd love to see the official um, medical ex- uh, medical examiner's um, death cer- uh, certificate of uh, George, um, just because they did find out that he did have he was positive for COVID. <laughs> So I'd love to see if they put his death down as COVID. Oh, probably. That's what I'm dying to see. Because could you imagine the guy's murdered literally on TV? <laughs> yeah, if they put if they put his 
death down as COVID, uh, you can see four cops walking right out of jail. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. They'll be out and the whole world. 